time for episode number 12 of my 1983 diary. I'm 14. Today I was supposed to go to my hockey practice, but I didn't, so Kelly couldn't go, and she took a fit. I hung up on her. She phoned me back. I told her to fuck off, and she hung up. And then she called me at around 2.36, and she told me that ever since I played on the hockey team, I've been acting like I'm king shit, which is bull. So I told her she did fuck all for our team. I was swearing left, right, and center. Then my dad came in and hit me. I don't know what I said. So, oh yeah, and hit me. So I decided to run away to cams, but no buses run today. I am so upset. What am I going to do? I need cam. Oh boy, no buses. Trauma. And a hit from my dad. So that's probably the only time I've mentioned my dad hitting me. He hit me a lot. Monday, February 7th. Today was okay, I guess. Me and Kelly are still enemies. I think we will be for the rest of our lives. Now, this is the good Kelly, by the way. And we were not enemies for the rest of our lives. Um, this is one fight that I'm not going to make up with her. I don't need this. Of course, Cam never called. I still think he's fucking around on me. I bet a million bucks he won't call me till Wednesday. Anyhow, tonight I went to Shelly's and played video games and then came home and talked to Sherry, Sherry S and Sherry Bryans. And now I'm going to bed. Good night, diary. So I will tell you that in the case of Kelly and the argument, <clears throat> I was the asshole. And many times I was the asshole. I was always reactive and would just tell people to F off because I could just let go of people. And I did this probably up until I was about 48 years old, which is kind of sad that I would just throw people away.